Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody a while back asked me this question, and somebody just messaged one of my on one of my videos. What did you press to move something over? Well, I'm using the nudge. So with nothing selected, this is your nudge factor. I've got mine set on nine. Standardly, I would have it set on 0 0.001 because I just want a little bit of nudge, but I'm going to nudge this, which is almost nine. So with nothing selected, when you have something selected, it goes away. If you have text, you got the text. If you have this, you got that. So with nothing selected, here's your nudge distance. And I'm going to set mine on nine inches. I'm going to, and these are the arrow keys that I'm going to nudge with. If I, if I draw a rectangle on, I move it over, it nudges over nine inches. If I move it up, down, left or right, that's your nudge movement. And it's depending on what you have it set. So I thought I'd do a little bit of demonstration on this graphic that I'm doing three this weekend on this same thing. And if you would like this graphic and you can edit, the, this is a baby plaque with a giraffe to put on a plaque and I'll give you this graphic if, and I'll leave my email just ask for the gir baby giraffe graphic and I'll more than willingly share you share it with you because I've, I've had it for many years and done hundreds of these plaques and it's uh, pretty cool. Anyway, so what you want to do, if we want to outline this, what I would do is take the text out of the way and move it out of the way. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to go up to a range group and ungroup it. And by doing that, I get this right here, which is my boundary tool. I'm going to put a boundary around it and I'm going to move it over. Now we're not going to want the inside boundary. We're just going to want the out. So I'm going to hit the right arrow key again. And then I'm going to go up to arrange and I'm going to go to effects and contour. I'm going to contour a half an inch to the outside with rounded corners. And I get that. Now I do not want that inside contour, but I need to go to a range, break the contour apart. Then if I grab that contour, I can nudge it over, go up to a range and break the curve apart and you can delete or hit that outside and see, I'm just nudging, but it's going right back where it needs to be. So I've let, you could put this space there if you wanted it or take it away, whatever you want to do. That's why when I say in most of my videos, I do not move anything by hand. I nudge it out of the way so I can nudge it right back. Just like right now, if I wanted to fill this in with a color, I can nudge that color out of the way. I could still go left click and I'm going to do this in red and I'm going to nudge it right back and you can see it's right on top because I nudged it over nine inches and back nine inches. So that's how you nudge. And if you'd like this file, and then after you're done, just move your text back in and, and run that graphic and cut it out. I don't ever cut this out. I put them on wooden plaques uh, in the new parents and grandparents of mainly friends and family. What I do this for, it's a freebie, uh, but you could possibly sell these you know, maybe on SD or whatever you want to, you, you've got my permission to use that file. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.